Hey guys, welcome back. It is high time I made a sequel to my most watched video which is the PVC slingshot bow I made last year and it's about to cross 300,000 views very soon. In the end of that video I said I'll be making a second version with more strength and better arrows. So let's not waste any more time and get right into it. These are the parts we'll need. A 3 quarter inch PVC pipe. I'll be cutting down my older bow for the unused pipe section as I won't be needing that anymore. A set of 3 quarter inch screw joint, male and female both. A 3 quarter inch T joint, a 3 quarter inch cap, some PVC glue, rubber bands, hot glue and for the arrows I'll be using wooden skewer sticks once again, electrical tape for reinforcement, 1 inch steel nails and a lighter. I'm going to start with making new handles for my rubber bands first. I'm going to make markings on this T-joint with my marker on both the sides. This time I'm going to make a straight edge U. And unlike last time when I used a thousand degree nail to pierce through the PVC, this time I'll use my mini drill. I'll make holes at close intervals and then use the drill bit to eat through the narrow walls in between them. Finally, I'll use one of the grinding bits to clean out the handles and then some sanding paper to smooth things off so it doesn't damage the bands. Next, I'm going to separate the screw joint and place this part on one side of the T-joint and the male part on the front to give the arrow a narrow firing barrel. This part is not actually meant to fit in the T-joint but with a little bit of sanding I was able to get a decent fit. For the handle, I'm going to cut down my existing bow to the length I need. And finally, I'll add the cap to the bottom of my handle cause it just looks good. Now that I've dry fitted all the parts, it's time to send them to the paint booth. I decided to keep the whole theme red and black today, so I'll spray half of the parts red and the remaining black. After the paint has completely set, it's time to glue them together. Apply a decent amount of PVC cement and all the connecting parts, fit them together making sure they are inserted all the way in and now let them dry completely for at least 30 minutes. Once this is done, I'll go ahead and attach the bands and the pouch to the T-joint. I have increased the number of bands on each side from 4 to 6 to give it more power. You can also use thicker bands in lesser numbers but since I had a whole box of these lying around I am going to go with it. At this point of time I realized I could have made the handles a little bigger so the bands could easily be inserted. Anyways, once the bands are in place, I will place a dab of hot glue on the handles to keep the bands from escaping. With this, our slingshot bow is complete and now it's time to make the arrows. I'll take my skewer stick and cut off a little from the sharp end to give me a straight edge. Now I'll use my cutting wheel on the drill to cut through about half an inch down from the tip. You can also do the same thing with a saw or a serrated knife. Once there, grab a knife, place it in the groove and give it little gentle bumps until it opens up a small crack down the grain. Enough for you to hold it open with your fingers when we place the nail in it. Now take your nail, I'm using 1 inch regular steel nails. The hardened steel ones were too thick for this arrow even though they would have done a better job since they don't bend easily. Heat up your nail to a glowing thousand degrees using the lighter just like everyone else is nowadays on YouTube. Place it between the split arrow so that half of it is sticking out and then press together the arrow using a set of pliers. The hot nail will embed itself nicely in the wood. When the nail has cooled down a bit, pour in a couple drops of super glue and continue holding it for a couple of minutes to make a strong bond. You can use a vise instead if you have one. Next I'm gonna wrap the whole thing in red electrical tape. This will give it some added strength and weight. For the fletchings, I'm gonna go with my clear plastic tape once again, but this time I'll make three wings instead of two for extra stability. This was actually a subscriber's recommendation on my first video. Once I have placed the tape roughly in place, I'll use my cardboard template which I made for the wing and trace it out on all the three wings. Then cut it out using my scissors 
and finally color them black with my marker just to go with the red and black theme. And if you're wondering why I didn't just use black electrical tape, well plastic tape is much lighter and doesn't get damaged easily after going through the narrow barrel repeatedly. Some final touches and a little more tape on the front end And with that, my redesigned Slingshot Bow version 2.0 is ready to fire. Time for some test shots now. I'll start with the easiest, Styrofoam. It goes in more than 1 inch deep and I'm not even pulling the bow back to its maximum. Next is plywood. The nail firmly embeds in the wood with a thud and you have to be careful when removing it. Pulling hard on it can bend the nail or even worse dislodge the nail from the arrow itself. The best way is to rotate the arrow slowly to loosen the nail and then pull it out gently. Now in my last video I said version 2 will be capable of shattering glass. Even though I have full faith in it, I couldn't find the right kind of glass. I chose a round glass bottle which was making it difficult for the arrow to deliver its impact onto one point and kept ricocheting off the bottle to the nearby walls. And the bottom of the bottle was just too thick for the arrow. The most fun I had was with aluminum cans. The arrow went clean through it like it wasn't even there. And sometimes got even stuck in the stuff behind it. I'm pretty impressed with how it turned out and I hope you like it too. If you do decide to make one, just be careful not to hurt anyone or anything with it. And yeah, do let me know how it turned out for you. Recently I feel like not all of my subscribers are getting notified when I upload new content. So make sure you click on the little bell icon next to the subscribe button whether you are a new subscriber or an existing one to get notified as soon as I upload a new video. Which is every Friday by the way and sometimes a bonus video during the week. That's it for now guys, I hope you liked this video and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button below and subscribe to my channel for more gadget reviews, life hacks and facts. Make sure you like my page on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, Google Plus and Instructables. Click on the thumbnails to watch my other videos or check out my YouTube channel for more. And as always, thanks for watching.